Hi there, we are gonna work on arithmetic sequencing. So for our notes for today, I'm gonna pull those up. For our notes today, arithmetic sequences. Really, I mean, arithmetic means what are we adding or subtracting by, okay? Um, arithmetic, so adding or subtracting. How do our sen um, sequences go up and go down? So, when we look at sequences, we look at the numbers, we're trying to figure out what's happening to them and what are the next numbers in the sequence. So this right here, let's look at this sequence. What's happening to these numbers? They're going, are they going up or are they going down? Okay, they are increasing. So they are going up, they are increasing. And how much are they increasing by? Like, what do you have to do to get from three to seven? Well, you have to add four. From seven to 11, seven plus four is 11. 11 plus four is 15. So it's increasing by four. Um, let's see if I can get that written down in there. And then it says, what's the next number in the sequence? Well, if I am going up by four, if I add four more, what do I get? I get 19, that's the next one in the sequence. All right, so now in the next example right here, oh, not that, the next example, this one right here, what's happening to my numbers? Are my numbers going up or are they going down? I'm going from zero to negative three. They are decreasing, okay? So they are decreasing. And by how much? They are going down by three each time. So they're decreasing by three. So the question that they're gonna ask us now is, what number comes before zero? So if I'm going backwards, what number if I subtract three from it, it's going to give me zero. Well, that would be three, because three minus three would give you zero. So we've got to work on how to find our numbers and the sequences and, and which numbers, where they go, depending on if we go up or down. So take a second and pause the video and try and do problems one through five. I think we've been doing this for a long time since we've been kids, but let's Let's see if we can figure that out. Okay, so on the first one, the first thing we need to figure out is, is it going up or is it going down? As I go from negative 34 to negative 28, some people will say I'm going down. I'm not going down, I'm actually going up because I'm getting less negative. I mean, I am adding. So what do you have to add to negative 34 to get to negative 28? If you don't know, take the second number, negative 28, minus the first number, negative 34. If you do negative 28 minus 34, it's going to tell you plus 6. You can always find the difference of a num between numbers by taking the second one minus the first. So for example, negative 22 minus the one before it, negative 28. If you put negative 22 minus negative 28 in the calculator, it will give you a positive six. I am increasing by six each time. So negative 16 plus six, I would end up with negative 10. Okay, well, when you went through to find the pattern on the next one, what is happening to my numbers? Are they increasing or decreasing? Well, they're going up by how much? Remember what I said, take the second number minus the one before it. So 3.5 minus 3.2, that gave me 0.3. We'll see if that works on the next one. 3.8 minus 3.5 gives me 0.3.
That's my difference. My difference, I'm adding 0.3 each time. So if I have to go backwards right here, I would take 3.2, and I'm going to have to subtract because I'm going backwards, 0.3. That would give me 2.9. So right here, you should have gotten 2, oops, 2.9. Okay, let's try and do this next one. Um, let me make sure I did this right. 14, anyway, two, three, yep. All right. So let's find our difference. Let's find out what's going on. How am I getting larger or smaller? First off, are we getting larger or smaller? When I'm going from 14, and then I'm going down, and these are the negatives. I'm getting them smaller. They're decreasing. So I'm going to be subtracting a number. So again, to find your difference, take the second number, negative 44, minus the number before it, negative 15. If you go through and do that, minus a negative changes to positive. So let's see, what is that? 29, I believe. Let me double check as I'm doing this in my head. 44 negative plus 15, yes. So it's negative 29. So each time it's negative 29. So I'm gonna go here. What is 14 minus 29? 14 minus 29 gives us negative 15. So you should have filled in here with negative 15, which that blank shouldn't have been there, huh? So I guess this thing, it went from here to here. So bad mistake on this problem, but that's okay. All right, let me erase all this jibber jabber right here. Let's look at number four, what you should have had. Finding my difference. I'm getting smaller, I'm going down. How to find my difference? Take the second number, minus the first, so 0.5 minus 0.9. So right there, I should have 0.5 minus 0.9, which gives me negative 0.4. So I am subtracting 0.4 from each one. So from this, what is 0 0.1 minus 0.4? Putting that in the calculator, 0.1 minus 0.4 gives me negative 0 0.3. That's what you should have gotten. All right, so on the next one, the last one that you should have done, right here, what's happening to my numbers? I am going down, I am decreasing, so I'm going to subtract. Well, to find out, so I'm going to subtract, to find out by how much, take the second number, 3.1, minus the first number, 13.1. When you subtract those, you get negative 10. So I'm going down by 10 each time. So as you go to find your next number, you would take 3.1 minus 10, and you get negative 6.9. Okay, so make sure you have that down. I'm going to erase my board. And let me move this page up. I need you to try and do these five problems right here. So pause your video and see if you can find out what the missing parts are of the sequence. All right, what you should have seen, let me move mine a little bigger here. What you should have seen for number one, I am getting smaller. Oop, I have to put my pen on. I am getting smaller. I am decreasing, so I'm going down. I am subtracting. Take the second number, 15, minus the number in front of which is 21. When you subtract that, you get negative six. So my difference is negative six. I'm subtracting six as I'm going down. 
So three minus six, oh, not three, silly me. Three minus six gives me negative three. That's what you should have gotten in this blank. Now I want you to think about this. When we go backwards, instead of subtracting six to your number, we would be adding it because we'd be going backwards. So to go from here to here, I'd have to add six to it and I should have 27. All right, so for number two, when I'm going, what's happening? Am I getting bigger or smaller as I go from left to right? I'm getting bigger. I'm gonna take 13, take the second one minus the first one. So 13 minus two, my difference is 11. I am increasing by 11 each time. So what would be the next one? 35 plus 11 would give me 46. Now, if I'm trying to find the one below and go backwards, I'm not gonna add, I'm gonna subtract 11. So two minus 11 gave me negative nine. Move my screen up a little bit. All right, for the next ones, no, oh, it doesn't wanna be very nice today. All right, for number three, what's happening? I'm going from 7.5 to 24. 57, 3.5, I'm increasing, I'm getting bigger. Well, by how much? Well, take the second number, 24, minus the first number, which is 7.5. So when you do that, you get 16.5. I am increasing by 16.5 each time. So what is 24 plus 16.5? You should have gotten 40.5. And again, on this next one, we would have added 16.5, which means that you would have gotten 90. All right, on the next ones. The only two that are right next to each other are over here, which is negative 33 to negative 30. What's happening is I'm starting over here at negative 45 and I'm going to negative 30. Some people go, oh, you're going down. No, we're getting less negative, like negative 45. And as I, I'm increasing, getting back towards zero, so I'm adding, so I'm gonna be adding something. To figure out what it is, I've got negative 30 minus the number before it, negative 33. When you put this in the calculator, negative 30 minus negative 33, it's gonna give you a positive three. That'll help you know if you're supposed to be adding or subtracting. See, now this is when I'm going from left to right. So when I go backwards, instead of adding three, you're gonna subtract three. So you would do negative 33 minus three. This would give you negative 36 if I'm going backwards. So I'm going backwards, I subtracted three. Backwards, subtracted three, this would give me negative 42. Okay. So the last one on this page, right here. If you get confused when you're seeing the negatives, try and see when you have two positives next to each other. How do I get from four to eight? From four to eight, I'm gonna add four, okay? So when I'm going from left to right, I'm adding. Now to go backwards, I'm going to subtract. So if I subtract four here, I get a zero. As I go here, I'm subtracting four, subtracting four, and again, negative eight minus four, that would give me negative 12. Make sure you have that written down and we'll go and do the next part. Give me one second. All right, back to what we were doing. Here we go. Um, let's see. 
Erase this. I'm going to probably have to make my screen shrink a bit. All right, now we're going to get in some of the trickier stuff right here. There are formulas they use for arithmetic sequences. So the recursion formula, that just means how do we find out the numbers that go before, you know, how do we get the patterns to go? See, what we're doing is, what it means is t to the n minus 1. This is the number before. Okay, the number before, and the D is going to be the difference. The recursion formula is going to help us figure out the numbers that are down the road, okay, different ones that are that are farther along. When you do the recursive uh, recursion formula, you're just trying to find the next ones in the pattern. Basically, we're taking the if you're the difference is three and you're adding three each time. If the number before is six, six plus three is nine, nine plus three. It's just kind of doing what you normally do in your head, but you never know how they're going to um, if they're going to put these formulas on the test. Um, so now on the next one on the function formula right here, T minus one is the is the starting number. Whatever your pattern starts with, your start number. Your D, like we just said, your D is going to be your difference. And your N is going to be your term number. Um, where, which color? Here we go. Term number. Okay, that's what those things are going to stand for. So let's look at the first one. The very first one says, for each problem, find the common difference D, the recursion formula, the function formula, and the values of the indicated terms. Okay, so find the D, what is the difference? It means how are we increasing or decreasing? So how are we going from two to nine, nine to 16, and 16 to 23? Remember what we talked about before, take the second number nine, minus the first number two. That gives me seven. It is plus seven because I am getting larger. I am going up. So for the recursion formula, okay, we don't know what, whatever number we're going to start with, we're going to put it as t to the n minus one, and then you're going to just do plus seven. That means whatever number we have, we're going to add seven to it to get the next one. So down here, it says, what are the next three terms? So it'd be saying, what is the next three terms if I continue my pattern? So if I do 23, 23 plus seven gives me 30. 30 plus seven gives me 37. 37 plus seven gives me 44. The recursion formula just helps you get to the next number in the pattern. Now, for the function formula right here, it says t to the t to the sub n equals now t to the one. What number did we start with? This is t one because this is the first number in the term in the in the sequence. So it's two, and then we have plus, and it says the d. See, I'm doing this up here, guys. So now it's d is seven times n minus one. Okay, so how do you use that formula to find the next problems? So it says, what is T sub eight? Meaning what is the eighth term in the sequence? So what you will do is you'll do two plus seven times. Okay, I'm gonna leave the end blank because the n means the, the what number are we looking for. So right here, it tells us that eight is what we're trying to plug in there. So I'm gonna put an eight in there. Now, put all of this in the calculator. Two plus seven times eight minus one. When you do that, you're gonna get 51. So that means that if I continue this thing, this pattern out here, 
Okay, let me go back a second. Let me erase this for a minute. This is the first number, the second number, the third number, the fourth number. If I keep going out, five, six, seven, eight, the eighth number in the pattern is going to be 51. That's what this means. And the eighth number, if you had to find the eighth number in the pattern, that's not so bad. But if you have to go and find the 45th number of a pattern, that's a lot of writing out to try and figure out. So you can use this function formula in order to find that. So I have two plus seven times instead of the N, we're gonna put in there that 45. I'm gonna put 45 in here. Now, take a minute, put this in the calculator and find out what our answer should be. When you put it in the calculator, the answer should be 310. Okay. You watched me do this. Try and do number two, pause the video, try and do number two and then come back and see if you can do this. The first thing we're doing, we have to find our difference. What is happening? We're going to 95 to 89, 89 to 83. Are we going up or are we going down? We are going down, so I know my difference is gonna be negative. Take the second number, so take 89, my second number minus the first one, 95. When you subtract those, you're gonna get negative six. That's your difference. You are going down by six each time. To use the recursion formula, right? You're just gonna do 10, t to the n minus one, and then you just write minus six. So what does that mean? It's to may help us find the next three terms all we're doing is subtracting them by six. So what is 77 minus six? You would get 71. Well, now take 71 minus six. You're going to get 65. 65 minus six, you get 59. That's all this formula is doing, okay? And so it doesn't not you do that naturally in your brain, but just in case they give you that formula, that's what it's talking about. The function formula is the one that's important because it helps us with the bigger numbers. So what it says up here, remember? So T to the, it says, um, oh, where is it? T sub one, which is your starting number. Here's what you're starting with. So I'll start with 95. Then the formula says, plus or minus, okay, so it says plus D, but since D is negative, we're gonna do minus six times, and then it becomes N minus one, okay? Use this formula now to find T sub seven and T sub 50, meaning what is the seventh number in the term and what is the 50th? Remember like what T sub seven, the first number, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. Well, to put it in this formula to find it, I do 95 minus six times, leave the end blank, put in there that seven. Okay, I'm getting that number from right down here. So when you put this in the calculator, you get 59. See, like this is the seventh number in the term and, and in the sequence, seventh number in the sequence, which again, when the numbers are small, that's okay. But when they get bigger is when we get in trouble. So now let's try and do the bigger one because they want to know the 50th number in the sequence. So you're going to do 95 minus six times, I'm going to put the 50 in there in just a second. So put the 50 in here. Now, put all of this in the calculator and find out what your answer is. You should get, you should have gotten negative 199. 
All right, make sure you have that down. I'm gonna move this up and I'm gonna need you to do number, pause the video and to do number three and four. To do number three and four. So there is three and four. Please pause the video and do those. Try and clear up my board a little bit. All right, here we go. To find your D, what is happening? Am I going up or am I going down? Take the second number minus the first. So six minus 14, and you're going to get negative eight. Your difference is negative eight. Your recursion formula, we're gonna have T to the N minus one, and then you're gonna put minus eight because it goes down by eight. What do you have to do? We need to find the next three terms in the pattern. So one, two, three. So if I'm going down by eight each time, right? It's gonna give me negative 18, which is what I put here. Go down by eight again, which gives me negative 26. Negative 26 minus eight is negative 34. All right, that's how you find the next numbers in the pattern. But what happens if those numbers are bigger? So your function formula, let me erase this and try and, my function formula we had was T to the N equals T sub one plus D to the N minus one. All right, so here's T sub N. T sub one means the first number, so that'll be 14. Then the D, well, that was minus eight. And then we have N minus one, right? What you start with, the difference, and then N minus one. So to find the 10th term, we're gonna go 14 minus eight times n minus one, instead of n, you're gonna put 10 in there because you're looking for the 10th term. Now put all of this in the calculator. If I put all of this in the calculator, I get negative 58. Try that now if you, have, if you haven't already for um, T sub 38. Well, T sub 38, minus eight, what is my N? My N is this 38. Now put this in the calculator. You put that in the calculator, you would have gotten negative 282. I mean, you could, if you didn't know the formulas, you could write it out to find the 38th number, but that'd be a lot of writing. Number four. What is the difference? What is happening? Am I getting smaller or larger? Remember, even though these are negative, I'm getting less negative, so I'm going up. To make sure you know, you take the second number, negative 15 minus the number in front of it, negative 20. This gives you a positive five. My difference is positive five. Your recursion formula is T to the N, sub n minus one, meaning whatever number it was before, plus five. Again, I'm not as worried about this. This formula is not anything you really wanna um, memorize because all it's saying is that we're gonna add five each time to find the numbers in our pattern. And we should naturally be able to do that. Right here, negative five plus five gives me zero. Add five again. Add five again. This is what you should have gotten for the next three term terms. Now the function formula. Again, that's what's up here. So I have 
it says T sub n. So T sub one is the first number in the pattern. So negative 20. Then you put your D. So it is positive. So it's plus five. And then it is N minus one. Okay, so now what do you do to use this formula? I'm gonna use this formula for the next one, but I'm gonna put the 12 in there for the N. So let's rewrite this. Negative 20 plus five times N minus one. Instead of N, you're gonna put that 12 in there. Now put all of that in the calculator the way you see it. When I put all of that in the calculator, I get 35. That should have been your answer. Now, what if it is they want the 82nd? Well, negative 20 plus five. This is where I'm gonna put 82 in there. Now this right here, when you put all of that in the calculator, you're gonna get, you should have gotten 385. Okay, make sure you have that down. Let's look at the next three problems. I'm gonna move my board up. My next three problems say, Number five says, suppose an arithmetic sequence has a common difference of three, no, of negative three, sorry. What is the next term after 75? Well, what does that mean? My common difference is negative three and I'm starting at 75. Well, you just do 75 minus three and that gives you what? 72, makes sense, right? All right, on the next one, it says based on the function formula. So it gave us the function formula. What is T sub N if N is three? When it asks you this, it means we're gonna just take this number and we're gonna put it into our formula for the N. So I'm gonna have 19 plus negative six, times instead of n, we have three minus one. Now put that in the calculator and what do you get? You should get seven. Try and do letter B the same way we just did letter A. So for letter B, we still do 19 plus negative six times N minus one, but instead of N, right, we're putting negative 59. So now put all of that in the calculator. You should have gotten 14. All right. The last one says, suppose an arithmetic sequence has a common difference of five and T sub N is 68. What is the value of T sub N minus one? Okay, so on this one, we will use our recursion formula and it's saying that the formula that we would have is T, oh, where'd it go? T sub N, equals T sub N minus one plus D. It is giving us the D and the T sub N. So T sub N is 68 equals, I don't know what T sub N minus one is, that's what we need to find. And the D is positive five. So how do we find out what our answer is? You treat this just like a regular variable, like this is just your X value. What would we do to get that by itself? Well, what's on the same side of the equation with it? The plus five. We would subtract five from each side and we're gonna get T sub N minus one equals 
68 minus 5 is 63, and this is our answer.